that I have uh, reassembled the spindle, it's time to add a motor and uh, hook up a frequency drive. So let's find out if I can get this old machine uh, running again. Here it is, my new, not so new motor. According to this label, made in uh, Czechoslovakia. And uh, since uh, Czechoslovakia ceased to exist somewhere in the early 90s, this thing is probably 30 years old. I got it from the junkyard, paid 15 euro for it, and it even uh, works. And uh, as you can see, it's a whole lot smaller than the uh, motor that used to run this uh, lathe. This is a single phase, this is a three phase motor. Usually, single phase motors are bigger than uh, three phase motors. Both of them have uh, one horsepower or uh, three quarter kilowatt, but the uh, three phase uh, runs a bit slower. Well, this one runs 380, and this one here runs uh, 450 RPM, both at 50 Hz, because uh, 50 Hz is the uh, line frequency over here. Unfortunately, it does sound a bit raw, so uh, let's uh, start with replacing the bearings. Replacing electric motor bearings isn't a very complicated job, if total amateur screw-ups like me can do it. You only need some basic tools, although a bearing puller is a nice thing to have. The new bearings were a bit loose in the housing, so the best and easiest fix I could think of was to punch some center point dimples into the bearing seats. Quick and dirty fix, although gluing them in might also have worked. So that's done, and it was harder than expected. Hopefully uh, the bearings survived the hammering. They are now uh, pretty tight in there, and uh, I even need to loosen up these uh, bolts here to make them run a little smoother. Well, I think it's best to hook up the frequency drive now, so I can test it a little bit before I mount it uh, to the bench. I've got the uh, Ellen Bradley sound machine installed. Let's see if she uh, still works. Well, the display still works. That's a good start. Let's see if she will sing. Nothing. That uh, that's probably because it's configured to use an uh, external switch. Um, these are the settings here. Yeah. Ten. Frequency control, local external, zero. Hmm. I haven't changed anything, but it now works. No, the switch isn't good anymore.
thing. Oh, it's slowing down. That's weird. It's not the bearings. Something is uh, clearly wrong here. Lucky me, I got uh, three or four more of these things. After messing with the cables a bit, it starts to work again. Looks like the minimum uh, is set to 15 Hz. I'll set it to 5 Hz. It doesn't sound too bad. Alright, I will now change the uh, maximum frequency to 100 Hz. And according to my calculation, this lathe will run um, 80 RPM at 10 Hz and uh, 160 RPM at uh, 20 Hz, uh, about 400 at 50 Hz, and 800 at uh, 100 Hz. Not bad. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. There's a little vibration when you uh, speed it up. You can probably hear it. I can also feel it. Okay, so that's not perfect. I guess it's time to uh, bolt this beauty to the uh, bench. If anyone knows why this uh, lathe bed uh, is missing the ways over here why there is a flat spot here let me know because I have no idea installed that motor is not going anywhere belt is nice and tight it did need a little riser block otherwise the uh, belt would not have cleared the headstock and uh, talking about the belt, I uh, should have gotten a longer one. That way the uh, motor would be further away from the uh, chips coming off the uh, workpiece. A longer belt would also uh, last longer. And uh, there would be a bit more contact area on the small pulley. And uh, that's where the belt usually starts to slip. The pulley, uh, by the way, was made for a uh, larger belt size. But the groove angle should be the same and uh, it is not bottoming out. There is however a bit of uh, wear and uh, rust damage on the pulley. But uh, I think it will be okay. I couldn't mount the uh, motor the other way around. Because uh, then it would hang over the side of the bench. And uh, it would be hard to uh, bolt down through the uh, cast iron legs. So now uh, I got to find a uh, place to mount the uh, frequency drive. Uh, preferably somewhere out of the way of the chips and oil, but uh, still readable and usable. Anyone know what this is? No? It's an old stand for a uh, satellite dish. These squares can hold four street tiles to weigh it down so it won't blow away. Modern advances in uh, internet television uh, has made this thing uh, redundant. But uh, the uh, pillar might uh, be perfect for mounting the uh, frequency drive.
I've got the uh, frequency drive installed and uh, I even hooked up an external switch. I'm done for today. It's getting pretty cold here. I'll see if uh, I can do a uh, testing video tomorrow. It's pretty cold here. And I keep using a uh, hair dryer to warm up the uh, touch screen on the camera, which is pretty uh, annoying. Anyway, that's it for me. In the next video, I'll be test driving this blue beauty.